Sam sisters came to Australia in 1791 when a convict arrived and his son came to Castle Hill in about 1821. In about 1824 he bought the land on which I'm standing now and where this cottage uh, that is a ruin is behind me. This is a cottage with a special uh, affiliation with Castle Hill. It goes back to 1857. Before that the Capitals owned it. I think they got the grant in 1823 or they bought it in 1823. It's, it's, part, of the, it's part of the Castle Hill establishment. My earliest real memory of the occupants was an old Mr Buckley. He was uh, aged and so was his cocky, a, a white sulphur crested cocky in a cage on the front veranda. Historical Society is delighted that so much progress has been made towards doing a replica of this old building. There will be a replica built, we think at Heritage Park, but certainly somewhere, that's yet to be decided. Over the last 10 years, as, as it ceased to be occupied, the effects of wear and tear and weathering and occasional vandalism and squatting have really taken their toll. Years ago you perhaps could have fixed it up um, with, with some repairs and some replacement of fabric, but now because of termites, because of the loss of a lot of the fabric, it's, it's effectively compromised. So, so one of the issues that was discussed in the early heritage assessments was what is the integrity of the building, you know, just how much of it actually is there as a building showed that it's really lost a lot of that original integrity and if you wanted to if say the whole widening of the street suddenly stopped and the decision was made to re-erect it in order to get it back to being habitable you would really have to replace an enormous amount of the building you'd in effect be building a new building is an example of um, where we can go when we recognise our heritage. I think it's a disgrace what happened for this building to have been let go with the white ants to get in and uh, I, do, I do acknowledge that uh, it's only in this term of council really that we, we've looked closely at what we can do with our heritage. Previously there was an attitude, well what this place needed was two litres of kerosene. We've changed that sort of thinking and uh, I hope for the better of uh, the community in the longer term that they will see that we are serious about heritage and recognising that. But I'd like to thank you all for your as community members for coming along and also demonstrating that there is an interest in the community for this sort of historical and heritage um, matter. We're operating under a couple of separate instructions. Firstly, we've got the requirement under the um, Heritage Act to do archaeological work both inside the building and outside to recover any artefacts or evidence that um, may survive from the, the whole period of the cottage's occupation. So as we're dismantling the site, it's the same as us digging the site. So we're recording it layer by layer um, through wallpapers and paint finishes as well as the, the gradual growth of the building from the two-room cottage through to its sort of expanded and final form. Secondly, we've got the instruction that came through as part of the development consent, which was to have an archival recording of the building before it was demolished. And the third thing came through the development consent as well, which is that the building is dismantled carefully and that it's, 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 it's retained or the building elements are retained.